scum! Who's there? Who's there? Hey, you! Over there! What was that? You want a piece of me, huh? Hey, you! My fat ass is gonna bust your face! Pencil neck! Uh, cheap shot jump! I got you marked now. Everybody to another Sledgehammer review. My name is Dr. Sledgehammer and today I have got another underrated 90s gem just for you. Imagine playing GTA 3 but with a much more diverse hand-to-hand -hand combat system, RPG elements and action-adventure elements just like in the Tomb Raider series. I am talking of course about Urban Chaos. Now, Urban Chaos enjoyed much more success than Magic and Mayhem did, the game from our last episode. However, it was moderate success, as critiques panned this game. They critiqued character movement, camera angles, weaponry, bugs, all sorts of things, and I never understood why, until I played the PlayStation version, of course. It has its problems, and I'm gonna talk about them in the future, but for now, I'm not gonna play the PlayStation version, I'm gonna download the Steam version instead, so I can show you guys the best version of the game. So, let's dive right in, shall we? The game starts with a prophecy that you are told by this dude wearing a robe that is riding something down with a quill. He foresees at the turn of the new millennium that a huge change is coming. As Union City celebrates, our protagonist Darcy's turn and her ally Roper are involved in a hostage situation that turns into a firefight with a bunch of gang members. As they're about to arrest the gang members, Darcy and Roper are confronted by a bunch of men in black who wield these brutal miniguns. Holy shit! Look at this! That dude has barely any flesh left on him! Anyway, both Darcy and Roper meet their demise by a grenade that for some reason has a timer. This would be the final reckoning. The one component the Prophet did not count on is... You. The player. You know of the prophecy, and you can prevent this from happening. It is up to you to save the day. So don't disappoint daddy. Okay? The game consists of 7 tutorial levels, 23 main missions and 3 bonus stages, 2 of which you get after completing the 3rd combat and driving tutorial levels. The bonus levels are kinda fun, you get to play as a Jamaican gang member who commits crimes that Darcy has to deal with. Hey there Miko! I heard of you! You supposed to be some badass, right? The game shares strong similarities to the Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row games. Just like in these games, you get to beat up people on the streets, drive cars and do missions. The difference is that Union City is cut into smaller sections that saves you a lot of time traveling between areas in the game. Instead of playing a criminal entrepreneur like in GTA or a gang member in Saints Row, you find yourself on the other side of the law playing a rookie police officer named Darcy Stern, who tries to live up to the name of her father, who was also a police officer. Stern! Darcy Stern! Well, I'll be a monkey's grandma! I don't believe I know you, old man. You better fill me in real quick about how you know me. Hell, I don't know you either, Stern. 
But your father, I, I knew him. My father, huh? You mean you knew him from his cop days? Damn right. He might have mentioned me to you sometime. My name's Deeks. The game starts with you patrolling a normal beat and doing minor tasks along the way like driving a car that was involved in an accident back to the station or preventing someone from committing suicide. What a maroon! Hey buddy! You can fly! Why don't you come on down? I heard that asshole! During each mission it is your responsibility to uphold the law. You often see interactions between citizens that are unlawful like prostitution, drug deals and public urination. Hey, is this your van? Do you have a... Sir, are you urinating against that tree? It's a public park. Back off, pig. Arrested. You are actually taught how to recognize street walkers and what to do when you see someone breaking the law. You book creep. Good work, Stern. I guess we'll have to stop calling you rookie now, huh? <laughs> you think you see a citizen do something suspicious? You get to make your own call whenever you think he did something wrong, and you get to kick his teeth down his throat. Wow, nice breasts, lady. Hi, officer. Bye, officer. Hey, you know that's suspicious. Get back here, you suspicious asshole. You busted punk. Yo, he had a knife on him. Me super kicking him in the face was totally justified. During the first few missions, you will notice an increase in the number of gang members who join a criminal organization called the Wildcats. There are only a few of them in the first few missions, but they increase rapidly towards the fifth mission. This is where the most fun part of the game kicks in, the combat system. Besides shooting or running over opponents with a car, you have a separate button for punches and kicks so you can do different combos on your opponents. When attacked by a large group, you have to deal with all of them simultaneously. You are focused on one opponent until this one opponent goes down. To deal with the other opponents surrounding you, you have to quickly throw back heel and side kicks to prevent them from blindsiding you. You can arrest people in the middle of a fight, but you might get clobbered by one of the others. Now we get bored pretty quickly fighting one on one. Personally, I'm not satisfied until I have at least four asses to kick. I don't even use weapons most of the time, I just wanna kick people in the face. During the first few levels I often find myself practicing the super kick. It takes a lot of skill landing one of these as you cannot target individuals. While traveling I use my time to practice on pedestrians. I mean they must be good for something. This helps me a not get bored when I have to travel places and b a super kick is the fastest way to eliminate a threat. It is pure joy when I manage to kick a gunman in the face just before he is able to pull the trigger right in the face. BAM! The fucking face man! There are of course other skills that you can try to hone. Here is a special combo for you. If you press punch punch, wait half a second and then kick, you can perform a spinning heel kick to the face. To the face! BAM! It killed me. Well, there goes a great bot down the drain, along with your career, start. Yeah, you should be careful not overdoing it, at least not always. And you gotta also be careful not killing too many civilians, otherwise this happens. I think you get like 4 strikes and then you have a game over screen and have to restart the entire game. As mentioned earlier, the game shares a lot of similarities with the Tomb Raider series as both girls do a lot of parkour in their respective series. Darcy has to climb on lots of buildings and glide between buildings using cables. Now here's the thing. Whenever I climb up high, my hands get sweaty, my knees start to trim, because I'm afraid of falling down. Whenever I make a jump, I curl my toes, because I'm afraid of missing my mark. It's really exhilarating, because one more move and I can lose like 20 minutes of gameplay. You have to climb between buildings a lot to look for power-ups. There are four types of power-ups. Strength, to increase the power of your attacks. Reflexes, which makes your compass easier to trigger. Constitution, to increase your health points. And stamina, to increase your running speed and general stamina. I start out each level looking for these. 
I take all of them except for the strength boost because it makes me kill my opponents much faster in the hand-to-hand -hand combat situation. This is A, less fun, and B, makes it more difficult for me to arrest people. You know, you wanna know how that is? Just play Roper. He's a little bit stronger, even though he's an old fuck. Darcy, get over here! In mission 4, you try to interrupt a meeting between gang members and in rushes your pal Roper, who helps you kicking people in the face. Isn't that nice? He then tells you that the gang, also called the Wildcats, is part of a bigger plot to cause mayhem in the whole city. Occasionally you get to play as Roper. He can't run, he can't arrest people, and he feels a little bit sluggish. He is however stronger than Darcy and has a larger health bar. Now I find Roper to be quite a cool mentor character, however, I prefer Darcy all the way. Darcy can actually run, she has smoother strikes, faster strikes, so she can kick people better in the face, and arresting people is actually quite useful. Plus, she is sassy as fuck. Johnson, you okay? Those assholes hurt you? Hell no, Stern! I beat down guys far tougher than them before! Oh, so that's why they kicked your ass and trust you up like an amateur rent -a cop huh? All right, Stern, you've had your laugh. Save your breath for the journey back. Then move it, Johnson. Back to the Wildcats, though. As you play further, you notice that Roper was right, and they are indeed a large criminal organization financed by a wealthy and powerful individual in town. You spend most of your time trying to convince your colleagues that the Wildcats are not your average street punks. What are you nuts, Stern? The Wildcats couldn't have pulled this off. The terrorists just dressed like wildcats to throw us off! You almost feed on your own most of the time, as most police officers do not believe you. As you move further, you will meet the men in black. They are really tough and will blow themselves up whenever you manage to kill one of them. Some real weird shit is going down all over the place. You are dealing with prophets who seem to know the future. Missiles that are fired at Union City. Demons from hell who go rampage in rural areas. This is one crazy game. So crazy in fact, you should probably see it firsthand. It is up to you to save Union City. Do not disappoint me, rookie. I could easily make a 30 to 40 minutes long video about this game, however, it defeats the purpose. It would be much better if you played the game. If demand is there, I am ready to make a let's play episode in the future about this game, because I really love it. As for the verdict, Darcy moves well, camera angles aren't really a problem for me, climbing gives me goosebumps, the combat system is one of the best ever made if not the best. As of right now, I'm only considering the Arkham series as a serious contender to this. You are of course free to convince me otherwise. Type something in the comment section below because I love these types of beat-em-ups. The graphics are nothing to brag about, but I find the dark tone of the game beautiful. It has some kind of Gotham-like vibes that I'm feeling here. As a matter of fact, you could go and consider Darcy a superhero. She certainly has the accolades. The game gets an 8 out of 10. A score I seem to give a lot lately, I know, but I think it's justified. I would rate the game higher, however, I have a few problems with it. One, I find the driving mechanics to be a little bit immature, especially considering all the tutorials the game makes you go through, and you barely even use cars in the game. A few missions force you to use cars, but otherwise you don't feel like using cars because it's much faster going places on foot. Apart from that, the game also has its fair share of bugs, and I'm not even talking about the PlayStation version.
As for the fate of the series, sadly, the developer Mucky Foot Productions went out of business in 2003. If you look closely at their Wikipedia page, you will notice that a second Urban Chaos game was actually in production. Further digging will reveal some of the first concept art. I do not really dig the short hair that Darcy is carrying here, but I would have gladly played a sequel. I am sure this series could have been a serious contender to Saints Row or GTA even. I personally believe that one of the major reasons Urban Chaos failed to succeed was the console versions of the game, as they are far inferior to the PC version. I will make a small review about the PlayStation version in the near future just to show you what I mean, but for now, I thank you for tuning in. I had a blast playing this game again. I was Dr. Sledgehammer, and I will see you guys in the next Sledgehammer review. It smells like, like wider. All right, pal, let's go. Huh? Where did you come from? The sky. Now let's take this nice and easy. But I want to be a fireman.